Today we're going to visit San Ignacio, cross the remote Baja Peninsula, and end up in a town known by surfers for the longest wave in the world. San Ignacio where we had a nice overnight stay at El Padrino campsite and we got uh, our last showers, our last real showers anyway for a while. For this Trans Peninsula crossing we're taking the direct route to San Juanico. This is a very remote route and we'll be surprised if we even see one or two vehicles here. There is another more traveled route uh, which is longer but it passes through Laguna San Ignacio where you can spend a day whale watching. If you do follow this route we're taking make sure you take plenty of food plenty of water and recovery gear since there's no cell service and very little help available along most of the route. What you see out there, Osita?
is 80 to 100 kilometers and as slow as 20 on a pretty smooth dirt road, not too bad. How's your trip been? It's said about four hours and 40 minutes from San Ignacio to San Juanico. San Juanico is supposed to be a pretty cool surf town. And from there we're planning on crossing over to Mulahe. Mulahe. And uh, up till this last 15 kilometers, uh, which we're on right now, we have less than 10 kilometers actually left to go. Uh, we haven't really had any washboards. It's been a pretty, pretty nice road. saying we're going to see the ocean over the next hill. We've said that about 20 or 30 times. <laughs> this is going to be the one right here. And there it is. There it is. Time for the ocean view. Finally. How long has it been since we've seen the Pacific Ocean? Two months. Has it been two months? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's been about two, two months. months. Nice to see it again. Well, we'll show everybody uh, out there what it looks like when we pull into this little town of San Juanico. In 200 meters, turn right. I want to say that so far this is probably the prettiest place that I have seen on the Pacific. Turn right. The water looks incredible. So we stopped at a tienda for a drink on the way through this little town of less than 500 people. I complained that the drink I purchased wasn't very cold, only to find the town has electricity for only four or five hours a day, and some days not at all. At least that's what the girl in the tienda explained to me. Some of the wealthier residents, she said, and most of the gringos that live here have off-grid systems to assure they have power when they need it. What you making there, Maria? Burritos. Pretty good. Thank you. So we are outside of a little town on the Pacific side of the Baja called San Juanico. And Maria is back there in the background making some breakfast. <clears throat> the town is back there behind us. Uh, not sure if you can see it. We're in our camp which is uh, a couple miles outside of town, but it's a really pretty day. Another really nice spot in Baja. Every spot we stop in in Baja seems to be just phenomenal. When there's no wind, and today is one of those days when there's no wind, so. We're going to uh, take our time and eat and have our coffee. We'll head back into town, probably grab a little internet. There's a little bit of internet here if you go to the Scorpion Bay restaurant. And uh, it's about a megabyte a second, but you can get emails in and out. And then we're going to head off through the mountains to Mulahe, and we'll see you there. <laughs> 